So guys, what do you miss the most about India? If I were to respond to it, I would say food. Besides my family, I miss the food. I love the food in India. We went to a ton of restaurants and we put together a comprehensive list of all the restaurants that we went to. Although US has a lot of Indian food available, but uh, nothing beats the food in India. This place has unlimited all you can eat pizza, pasta, salads. Uh, check out the live salad bar, guys. So there's a buffet for soup, salad, pastas, but the pizzas and the garlic breads are served and brought to your table. So, And this is all unlimited guys, so they'll just keep serving you until you are tired of food and you ask them to stop. Next up, Barbecue Nation. Barbecue Nation is known for its uh, grilled food. They have amazing kebabs, uh, amazing paneer tikkas, mutton cheek kebabs. Although they have a lot of deserts and main courses and, and things like that, but most people, they don't go beyond uh, starters. And you'll very soon find out why. Uh, here comes our grill. This grill will stay on our table until we'll tell them we are in food coma. So, you know, they can stop serving us food. Uh, they've already started to bring in skewers. I see paneer, pineapple, mushrooms, potatoes. On the non-veg side, I'm seeing chicken, shrimp, fish. Uh, kebabs will be brought separately onto the table. I've been waiting for this moment for six years, guys. Here comes crispy corn. Uh, I've heard good things about this. Uh, a lot of people say this is the best dish that Barbecue Nation makes. Although it's debatable, I don't know. We will also do a full version of our time at Barbecue Nation guys, so uh, stay tuned for that video as well. Barbecue Nation also has a live counter as you can see there is that shawarma station and then you'll see some chap and chapli kebab station here this is the main course area guys check it out the other side there are all the deserts Eleven a.m. in the morning in India. We are stepping into a McDonald's in India. As you can see, the menu looks very different than any American McDonald's. It has a lot of vegetarian options. Uh, in general, a lot of options. Um, the menu is much bigger than American McDonald's. I love the Macalu tikkis, the McPuffs, the deserts that they have. I'm I'm truly in love with Indian McDonald's. Guys, here we are trying to place an order. Everything looks so tempting, it's just so hard to not order everything. 
I'm so tempted to just order, you know, one of everything that they have on the menu. Next stop, Santosh Pav Bhaji. They have unlimited Pav Bhaji, Pulao and buttermilk just for 120 rupees guys. It's very economical and super tasty. For those of you who do not know what Pav Bhaji is, uh, Pav Bhaji is a vegetable curry with spices. You pour some raw onion, lime on it and eat it with bread. Uh, you'll see it shortly on my table. But uh, if you are in the US, uh, look it up. There, there's definitely a restaurant around you that sells Pav Bhaji. In fact, in Bay Area, uh, where I live, there is a restaurant called Pav Bhaji Hut. And then there are a lot of other Indian restaurants that specialize in Pav Bhaji. So, if you are in the Bay Area, in the San Francisco area, you are in luck. You will get to try Pav Bhaji without flying a lot of miles. Guys, we are in Varsha. This is a Sindhi community, I'm very familiar with this community. Jule Lal Pani Puri, is a very famous Pani Puri seller on the street. My dad used to eat Pani Puri here when he was young. So this seller has been here for at least 50 years. I know his dad used to sell Pani Puri and now uh, he is the son. Right next to this Pani Puri stall is a corn stall. They have different varieties of corn. Uh, and then we are moving on to our next stop, Raju Omelette Center. One of the most famous egg places in India and uh, abroad as well. I know they have a location in Dubai, New Jersey. Um, check out their menu guys. They have different varieties, uh, everything cooked in Amul butter. Check out this masala half fry guys. This is the sunny side up. Look at the butter and the oil on it guys, you need your cardio surgeon on speed dial if you are eating here every day. Tasty Vada Pao, one of the oldest Vada Pao spots in Vadodara, originally started in Nizampura area of Vadodara and now I think they have, I don't know, they have like 15-20 branches. We are at the Kareli Bagh branch right now, um, check it out guys.
वेरी फेमस कुल्फी ऑफ वडोदरा गाइस वी ट्राइड द मिक्स कुल्फी हियर द फ्रूट सैलड द कोल्ड कोको इफ यू आर इन वडोदरा यू मस्ट डेफिनेटली विजिट दिस लोकेशन ट्रिप टू वडोदरा इज इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट ट्राइंग द सेव उसल गाइज सेव उसल इज अ स्पाइसी बीन सूप सर्व विथ सेव विच इज नथिंग बट चिक पी फ्रीटर्स महाकाली सेव उसल इज द मोस्ट फेमस सेव उसल ऑफ वडोदरा बट वी आर ट्राइंग रामदेव सेव उसल विच वॉज माई पर्सनल फेवरेट वेन आई वॉज लिविंग इन इंडिया अबाउट सेवन ईयर्स अगो We stopped at the lodge to try a baraf gola or in English as they say shaved ice check it out guys Next up, Man Shanti Handwa and Dhokla Center. I love the Dhoklas here. They have a lot of options. Uh, check this place out, and we are on to our next stop, Amarpan. It is a leaf, uh, and then there's some sweet put into that leaf, and leaf is folded like this, as you can see. Very delicious. Give it a try. Gandhi Khamand this was our breakfast spot for samosas doklas mahakali sev usal of course must visit if you are in vadodara after this we also have uh, santushti shake and more and saindeep daveli but uh, do let me know if i have missed out on any famous places in vadodara <laughs> 